Hey everybody, Shama32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the finale of season one of Blake 7. This one is entitled Orac. I can't believe I'm at the finale already. It's crazy. It only seems like yesterday I started on the journey of this show. I was hooked instantly within that first episode. It was so good. And it just seems to have gotten better and better for me, personally, throughout the season. And like by the third, I think it was the third or fourth episode, I've owned the DVD box set, which is what I'm watching this on now. And I'm so excited to be at the finale because it means I can watch any behind the scenes stuff from this season. And I'm super excited for that because I had a look around on the disc and apparently there's a blooper in one file, which is, I love my bloopers, so that'd be fun. But um, that last episode was great. It was really action packed. I'm still shocked that um, I got the, the, the sun. The guy that was like took Callie hostage and on the trip with Blake. I cannot remember the character's name, but I know he's junior to senior, which I'm assuming we're going to see senior in this one because I believe it's kind of like a two parter. Because it felt like a two parter at the end, and plus this one's called Orac. But um, I can't believe that that guy, like all the way through, I was like, I know that face. Why do I know that face? I know that voice. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, No, no way! It's Roy from EastEnders. <laughs> Like, I haven't watched these standards in years, but I remember Roy with Pat and Barry, and it was just like, what the hell? <laughs> it took me by complete surprise. And then when I was editing, it was I was really weirded out. It was a bit difficult for me to edit, because I was just like, it kind of got creeped me out, but it was just weird. I couldn't help but see... I've never seen him young before, so it was really strange. <laughs> but oh, he was really good. Everybody in that episode was fantastic. Um, the stuff like Callie was on the good with him and also Blake as well because they wanted to help him and obviously they're going to because unfortunately he is now passed but um, his father needs still needs help and they could possibly do it so now everybody's back on ship they're going to go do so and get the power cells to him so fingers crossed Servalan and Travis don't get the first speaking of that oh wow that was a brilliant part between them because like Servalan made the ship crash because she put there was a deal between I'm gonna call him Roy. I'm gonna call him Roy because I cannot remember the name. I could have looked at the scenes because I put I was quickly clicking through and they know one of them was named after the character, so I should have seen them, but I cannot remember. But I'll call him Roy. Because he's Roy to me. He's Roy Evans. But um he had the paracels, was gonna go take him, and I've forgotten what I was gonna say. But he just they were really good with him. That's now, now I've got what I'm, I'm all over the place because I'm nervous and excited about getting to the finale. But I was talking about Servalan, wasn't I? Servalan put out something on the ship. She set up the deal between them and the Federation, and she put something on the sh on the guy's ship to make it crash, so that it they could just go there anyway. Because she their their part of the deal was like one he would have the things and. She would know the location of the lab, which is so stupid. She's not going to go there with Travis and get what she wants. She's going to get Aurac. But um, Travis was really good in the bit he was in it because when she said that the surgeon on the ship, the young guy died, he was really disturbed and not, like conflicted by that because the surgeon was the guy that saved his life. So he looked really conflicted and confused by that. And I really liked that moment. I, I, to me, it was only a minor moment, but it added more to his character. And he was a great character anyway. Now, the stuff on the planet was great. Because um, Avon's a god-ish. Saved the civilization along with the rest of them. But that was brilliant. And like, I cannot remember the woman's name. You know I'm bad with names if you've been here before again. But um, she was really good. And like I like how they handled her because they didn't... Like, um, dismiss her beliefs that, like, Graham was like, we're really just these people from space or all that kind of thing. But they did make fun of her. Avon, I bet he enjoyed it a little, but he seemed like, a bit, like, confused and, like, a bit uncomfortable, but I bet he enjoyed it a little. But he didn't, like, trample over her feelings. He seemed to actually quite like her because the way he smoothed her face as well. I was like, hang on, what's going on here? But he wasn't dismissive. He didn't, like, like get annoyed at her or anything like that, which is what I thought he was gonna like start getting annoyed at her because stop doing that with this, it's stupid, all that kind of thing. He was like, 
he basically the way they worded everything was like playing into her beliefs it was really good like i did think that was a lab at first but then i was because i my memory i forgot that that's not the planet Doy. <laughs> oh and then obviously we is I'm concerned about the radiation because they did say that when they first went down there about the radiation that they could experience that was on the thing and prolonged exposure would make them unwell and possibly worse. And now Callie was not Callie. Again, I'm confusing names. I did this so much last time. I almost conf actually I know I pretty much confused Gan and Villa, my two favourite characters. Almost confused Lake and Avon. Just like, how can I? I was all over the place last week because so much stress on sat on my laptop, which is working fine at the moment, fantastically. But um, I'm worried about Jenna because she was down there the longest. So I'm worried that something might go wrong with her, like she might be ill and probably the others too. They need at least some kind of treatment if Zen hasn't got it on the ship. I really like how they did the, not caveman, but the, I don't want to say primitives or Neanderthal, not Neanderthals, because Neanderthals are on Earth, but they could be that version. You know what I mean? Like the prim primitive civilization, I guess. I don't know the right term for that kind of civilization or group of people on another planet, because it's not really something it's talked about. But I guess it's out there somewhere. But um, I really liked how they were done, because they, like a lot of times, especially in older things, like, they're just one piece of, like, fur, like, really bad-looking fur. Oh, and it's just one colour. And it's just, like, really badly put together huts and things like that. But they had multiple different things. It looked realistic, like, multiple different animals stitched together for their fur. And then, like, their um their shelters looked like, like they had crates and stuff like that. So it looked like it was, like, from the older civilization before it got wiped out. Or not wiped out, because... um. I can almost remember her name. I can almost remember her name, but I know that she said there's about under 100 and there's more of the primitive ones outside, but they're all dying off. So the rest of them, obviously, their DNA and whatever is in the rocket that went up. And will reach its destination 500 years. But it looked like the um, people outside had the, like, the little crates and things left over and they had incorporated it into that. And I really liked that. It was really well shot. Like the like the composition of the scenes were really good and I like that. And I was weirded out by how my new laptop made it sound at first, but at the end I actually quite like it. Now I'm still not 100 percent sure on the levels of the sound of what I should set them at and things like that. Like when I launched the DVD, it literally blew out the power level, like or the audio level went into the red instead of like the green and yellow, which is where I usually keep it. So I've turned it down a bit. Hopefully it won't be too quiet and I can adjust it in editing if it is. But if the edit audio is a bit weird, please let me know. I'm still so paranoid that it's not working because it's brand new laptop last week. So fingers crossed we can get it okay. But if you can't tell I'm nervous about starting this episode, I was nervous with Doctor Who on Monday because I finished Doctor Who season one this week as well, which is kind of nice doing both in one week. But yeah, I'm really nervous because. I got nervous doing a flag of these death this week as well. I don't know why. My anxiety is all over the place. Yay! I don't... I want to know what Orak is. I want a conflict between them and Travis and Servalan. And I just want it to be okay. And I believe somebody said that... Mentioned it was uh, like a cliffhanger. Which is... Okay, I will prepare myself for that. But I don't know when it's coming. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I get... When I'm like this, I get hesitant to start. But I'm going to start. But um, if you enjoy the reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. I love this theme so much. Look, if there was an option to skip it, I can't remember if there was an option to skip on um, ITVX and BritBox. But I would not skip it. I love this theme. I love this type of music, like the synthy type music. It's lovely. I would love a model of that ship on my shelf. When I get my like little setup in my new hat, whenever we move, I want to try and find a model of that ship and put it on that thing behind me. And it's such a unique look. Yeah, okay, got the title right.
I was worried I had it wrong. I couldn't help myself. But... Whoa, it moved quick. I love how they do these. Like picture over picture with the ship moving across. Oh, is he feeling unwell because of the... He's sweaty. Shouldn't they be seen to because of the radiation stuff? I hope, he's, I hope they're all all right. I'm worried about Jenna the most. Because she was down there the most. They came up for a little bit. Sen, give me full recall of my supplementary to fight log data. Vision suite line one. Line one is linked and ready to accept. They really do. Especially Jenna. Like, she's obviously like that. But I hope they're all all right. It was put on routine security surveillance and was identified as a Space Master Series 5. Uh -huh. Retrieval pictures confirm. He's, he's going to see the explosion. Cephalon's gravity pulled her down into the atmosphere and she started to burn up. He's got such a cool voice. I love... they. Like You can tell he's like does Shakespeare and stuff like that. Or did Shakespeare, sadly. And an even, How to get videos of this? In an attempt to find the survivors. In the log, you know? It's just a recap because it's a two-part, I guess. That the other passenger was a doctor and that they were carrying medical supplies. It all tallies with what Ensor. saw. Mm-hmm. I think it's the importance the Federation is placing on ORAC that bothers me. Yeah. I switched to automatics. There's something I want from my cabin. Let's take another look at the pictures of that ship on the main but should, He should let them all, like, go down... Go down to the medical bay and, like, be... Like, check each other. Jim, what is it? What's the matter? I don't know. I feel terrible. She is sweating buckets. Oh, I love her fault fever. as well. I'll get you to your cabin. Zen, hold it there. He said now then, about... play it back, slowly. He said about the radiation before he went down, so why are they not... Why are they not um, checking on them all, you know? They should be. The explosion's in the forward section. Now, you thought it was a neutron burner, but that's nowhere near the engine housing. All right. Ooh. Now, they start on the return journey. The data you requested is now available. But it's an explosive. The sensor readings for selected moment are as follows. Cool that they're able to do this. Probability is that a small explosive device was detonated in the gravity there we compensator go. controls. Sabotage. Yes. But why? Yeah, really. Presumably so that the Federation could get their hands on ORAC. Exactly, yeah. Radiation poisoning. The same as the others. They've all absorbed heavy doses of radiation. Radiation? All of me? Well, that's what they said that would happen. They said that. I'm glad they're addressing it. And if they don't? They will have. But if they don't? They will have. There's no point in hiding it. Our condition will deteriorate oh, rapidly. Oh, no. If we don't get drug treatment very soon, we shall die. Die? I can't do that. I'm afraid you can. It's the one talent we all share. Even you. I love how he ribs a filler. Oh shit, he is going to be sick. Are you hungry then, are you? Let's give you something to eat then. Mm. He's, he's the only one on the planet, isn't he? Because I think that's what the, the sun said. Not for too long, I was going to say. Whoa, what the hell? Is that what the power cells are for? Is it like a version of a pace pacemaker or something? Not good. He's running out of battery. Not good at all. Very little time left. Oh no. Oh yes, what is it? Have you something to report? A space vehicle has made a surface landing about seven miles inland. My son's ship? No. Stupid question, I apologize. Had it been his, he would have Wait, contacted what the us hell? by now. Have you identified the ship? Federation. Oh no, they've got their first. Is the defense zone operating? Yes. Then they won't get far. Is he kind of like um, Zen? Is Aurac like Zen? Uh, can't be too careful in my state of health. Whoa, okay. I'm really intrigued now. What could they want here? Hmm? <laughs> Only one thing. You, Warwick, my friend, you. Oh, no. Let the Phibians have them. Okay, why was it talking from the planet? God, that made me jump. 
So I don't like lightning. <laughs> I still like how they're, he's black and she's white. I like it. It really sets them apart. There must be an easier way to get into the laboratory than this. Uh, they're going after the Furbians. We go straight along this passage, turn right at the junction, and then straight on. Yeah, but what about Fibians? They're below sea level there. Let's hope they're not flooded. It would be interesting if they are. Well, let's get started. Right. Ooh, hoo, hoo. I love how I'm putting some of these two on there. Oh, hopefully they're not too tight. Because claustrophobic. The lighting's good. I really like you can just like it's an it's an actual realistic lighting. Travis. Huh? It's this way. Oh, but hey, that, hey, that's a lot better than you think. Like it could have been completely flooded. They're lucky. Although it's only a heart rate down, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh God! If I jump and not the microphone, I apologise because I feel like I might. Oh, I'm interested in seeing the creatures. She always looks so cool, doesn't she? We are racing to deliver medical supplies that will save a man's life, in the hope that he will have medical supplies that will save ours. Zen, give me something else that will explain why he needs those micro power cells. But it's chesting, yeah. It appears that Ensor took a vacation on a frontier planet. While there, he suffered a massive heart attack. Uh, it's like a it's pacemaker. The only available transplant was a mechanical heart. Oh, it's an actual heart. They have a life of about 40 Earth years. His is running out. And all the time they've been on Aristo. Kelly, we'd better get ready to teleport down. He seems to be the best out of the, a lot of them. Although I don't know how Villa is at the moment. In the absence of further instructions, I shall institute full security procedure. Oh no. Liberator is in stationary orbit within teleport range of the planet Aristo. All circuits are. All circuits are. Oh all no. All circuits are. All circuits are. Zen! All circuits are. Oh no. Specify recognition code. I repeat, identify yourselves and state the purpose of your mission. This is the spacecraft Liberator. We have medical supplies for someone on this planet. Before he died, the pilot asked me to deliver some micro power cells. He said they were vital to save his father's life. Your explanation is satisfactory. There we go. I am aware that you have teleport facilities. I will set coordinates for a surface landing. On arrival, you will await further instructions. That is all. That is it's so like Zen. Preliminary research indicates that all computer functions were temporarily under I... external control. He didn't make that. He didn't make Zen, did he? Investigation of this paradox is continuing. A force that can take over the computers could easily take over the ship. Yeah. She needs to sit down. Aiden, can you handle the teleport? What's going on? Just get down there. Jenna, switch to automatics, then go and rest in your cabin. Yeah. And let Zen alert you whenever something happens. Look at the locator. It's setting the coordinates. By itself. It looks as if our computers are being overwritten Whoa. again, being programmed from another source. Perhaps we should move out. Well, I really do think, like, Aurac. God, I'm sorry, Avon. Frankly, I doubt whether we could, even if we wanted to. I'm so confused. Yeah. No wonder the Federation wants it. If you feel well enough, can you try and stay by the teleport? I have no plans to go anywhere else. All right. I like I said, if you feel well enough, he's like, they all care about each other in their own ways. Like even Avon cares about them all in his own way. Obviously he's his first priority, but he does care about them. Oh, what if they run into, they run into them? I think they're pretty much similar place, aren't they? Are they going to catch up in the Undercity? So I swear Travis went past that. What is it? Look. It's the force, the, the defence system, isn't it? It's a force barrier. The question is, are we on the outside unable to get in or...? On the inside unable to get out. Yeah. Who's going to get there first, though? Maybe 
um, Aurak will put down the shield so they can get in and put it back up again so they can get there before these ones. And they, oh, what if they get there at the same time? I don't know, but it's been behind us since we started. Behind? Look, the tunnel's blocked. We're coming There's a bit of a gap. I'll go and check. Oh, she looks scared. I would have kept her close. Oh, you can move that. Come on. What the hell is that noise? It sounds like a human yell. <laughs> well, let's hope they're justified. They are. When we deliver Aurak to the Federation, they will be very grateful and very generous. And it will be our success. Ours alone. Uh, wouldn't surprise me if she throws Travis under the bus and takes it all for herself. Right. Has she got a weapon? I like how she... As soon as he was, he couldn't see her, like, she dropped her face change and she looked afraid. Travis! She really looks afraid. Oh, no! Whoa! 